Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will start to implement the MVC design pattern for our application and we will begin by moving our button control here to its own XML view file. Now SAP UI5 supports multiple view types such as XML, HTML or JavaScript but we choose XML as this produces the most readable code and it is also recommended by SAP. So let's go ahead and create a new folder in our root project folder named view. This name is up to us by the way but it is highly recommended to use the name view. And inside we create a new view. Name is also up to us. I will call it app.view.xml. Now these files have to end with .view.xml or if you were to use a JavaScript view it would be app.view.js. Now what we are going to do here is instead of creating a button control here in a JavaScript file and placing it inside HTML, we will create a view control in our XML, an XML view to be exact, and then we will put a button control inside it and then we will put that whole view into this content area. Now let's start by creating a root XML node with the namespace of MVC we will also create in a second and then the name of our view control will be just view and we need to add a few attributes here let's start with display block and set it to true so we don't get a vertical scroll bar and let's now define our default namespace which will be the sap.m library since we are going to use the button control from it and then as I mentioned before we have to import this uh, MVC namespace since we are also using the view control there so let's also do that with a column MVC and the path for that library is sap.ui.core.mvc so it resides in the core library we close this now we have our view and as a content from the mobile library we add a button here and let's check the text we said create new product I copy the text attribute here and the press event handler I will skip for now because in the next video we are going to create a controller.js file and then we will implement the press handler logic there so we have a view control here with a button inside. Now in our index.js file what we do is we get rid of this button. Instead we are going to create our XML file, sorry our XML view from this file and then place it into this content area instead. So we don't need the button anymore, instead we need the XML view. So we update our dependency here and import SAP UI core and we see and then XML view. Let's also name our variable XML view. And now we call this uh, create method on our XML view. And we need to pass in the view name attribute, of course, which will point to our uh, XML file here. So we need the full path and we start by the namespace. So ui5.product.list and then view the name of our folder that we just created and then the name of the view file without the extensions. And this is going to return a promise. So when it resolves, it will resolve with our view control and what we're going to do is we are going to place this view into this uh, content area again in our index.html. Let's save this and check our application. As you see it still works as expected but now we have our view logic and files inside a dedicated folder. 
In the next video, we will also create another folder for our controllers and implement one. So I will see you there.